Welcome back to a gloomy server. We're on our Zumbra. And we're heading to the nether. So, it's been a while since I've recorded on here. I have been a little busy. We, um... New attraction? Coming soon? Well, yeah, I've been busy. So, we're ready for the grand opening. In fact, oh, warning, danger. In fact, I've been spending some time off in Griff's nether farm to get prepared. I have three weather skulls. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, I I left Griff a bunch of of gold and uh, a bunch of blaze rods too. And if I had been able to trap them, uh, saw two two pigmen riding uh, chickens. Uh, the first one I saw, and I happened to have um, some netherrack with me, and I trapped him, and then uh, he suffocated. Uh, the pigmen suffocated in the blocks. Um, I was very disappointed. Went up to uh, Griff's uh, portal, uh, not portal, um, oops. That's not good. Uh, up to his, um, oh, what is that called? Um, what is that called? Uh, beacon. There we go. Beacon. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, went up to his beacon and was chatting in Skype about it. And then went back down and I found another one. And I was like, oh, another one. And the same thing happened. So I spent some time, I grabbed, mm, gotta love the snapshots, got some, um, got some, um, there we go, the skin, uh, got some fences. And some uh, instant healing pots um, from my base. And uh, took them back to his little area. I put it in all that in a chest on the upper deck. Uh, I'm going to have to let him know about that because if he goes in there and sees that, he's going to wonder what the heck that is. Uh, that was me, Griff. Uh, just trying to be able to catch them next time um, so yeah I, I've been working on this um, dug around a lot um, and uh, uh, found this I tested it in a creative world uh, so I just put up a, a bunch of bedrock uh, pushed a nether, or a nether, a wither up into, um, uh, and actually it was, a uh, oh, this is annoying, very annoying, there we go, um, tested pushing a wither up into a cross of, uh, bedrock so one two three four and five pushing them up right there and um, that was uh, mostly enough um, his uh, heads could blow out any blocks that were in the corners um, so you really need to have a nice nine block area and we have that and as best as I could tell 
I don't know where those went, but uh, if we stack up here. Come on. Come on. Yeah, see, it's all hollow out up here. Um, so, this should work. And we're going to find out right now. Live. On TV. Or YouTube. Or whatever this is. Um, so you're probably wondering why I've got the uh, torches in here. I really wanted to do... I tried this out. I wanted to put glowstone back there and then do that so that you'd have glowstone on the top, glowstone on the bottom and it would look like it was one piece of glowstone there. That didn't work. As soon as I uh, put all the slabs in it got dark and uh, didn't light up the place at all. Uh, I was very bummed. But what we have here is we have a nice little place to uh, dispose of all of your items that uh, you are potentially concerned you might lose. So we'll just drop everything right in here. We'll grab this and we'll grab... Oh, we don't need five. We only need four. So we're going to go like this. We got the uh, ender chest, we got crafting bench, another chest. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, but Dev, what what if, you know, a stray blast? Oops. I need to fill that in. What if a stray blast were to, you know, come in here and blow all this up? Well, I've taken that into consideration. Um, so, this switch is going to push this up and in. Now what you have to do is you have to uh, build this like this and then you have to put the heads on. Now when you put the next head on obviously he's going to be created. That's when you hit this. That's after he's been created, he will um, get pushed up and into it. Now, why did I take that down? Well, so that I could do this. So he'll get pushed up, and he'll be held up there. Uh, this closes in so that uh, any stray potential uh, head blasts should not get out of that room. Um, First off, they shouldn't even be going anywhere in the room. Um, at least according to my tests, with with the nine, and we have an extra one. Huh. Um, with the nine, uh, they shouldn't be coming down at all. But if they do, this keeps as many as possible out of the hallway. But just in case, we have these doors that close as well. Um, and that's all on the same uh, circuit. Uh, nice little feature of this. It also lets people know that uh, somebody's already in here, you know. Um, which, if they couldn't figure that out, well, perhaps, uh, perhaps they need to uh, be paying attention a little bit more. So, with all that, what do you say we do this, shall we? Taking a big risk here. 45 levels. Oh, there he is. Boom. He gets pushed up. And I'm even going to stay in here. Oh. Man, yes. Yes. Check this out. Oh, yep. Come on. Look at this. Can you just sit here? And now he's in melee mode only. Come on. And there's another star. It worked. He didn't blow it up. Ha ah, ah! Yes. So, yes. Coming attraction. It works. All right.
right. Wow. I just wanted to show that off. Because I know some people have been uh, blowing things up, destroying their their environments. And this is a nice safe place to do it. And we still have the ladder that goes down to, whoa, another proper. I don't really want to go down there. So, I got to go through here again. Not fun. Um, so yeah, if you need to kill the wither, by all means. By all means. By all means, use the facilities. There you go. Uh, what else? Uh, that's pretty much all I've been doing on here. We, uh... Okay. A little laggy here. So we, uh, we attempted to do a UHC this past weekend. Um, had some issues. Uh, it was kind of not a good seed for the um, world border version. Why did I come? Oh, yeah. I came in here for this. Um, so uh, we were using the world, a shrinking world border. And uh, the center of the map was primarily desert. Which basically was not good. Um, what ended up happening was uh, we had one individual uh, get randomly placed in that desert. And so when they went uh, looking for um, wood, uh, they ended up... Uh, going almost 200 blocks away to find wood and uh, that basically put them uh, right next to to somebody else uh, and that person went and killed them and then uh, we had another individual that uh, was getting stuck in blocks um, couldn't get unstuck even in game mode one um, couldn't get unstuck. Uh, then we had uh, inadvertently, uh, I had set it at uh, difficulty of normal, and I did not knew that a, a uh, player could not die of starvation like that. So we had one player that was stuck at half a heart uh, because they had no food. Um, and yet they were still moving around and whatnot because they, they couldn't die. Um, so it, it, we all kind of agreed that uh, the, the footage was going to get deleted. We um, were looking to play again. Um, we're going to make some modifications. Uh, the border shrank a little too fast and the border was not big enough. Um, we had six people playing and we had a thousand block border uh, and it was supposed to shrink in a matter of two hours it sh shrank uh, it was supposed to shrink down to 150 blocks from a thousand um, it did it in 80 minutes not 120 minutes for some reason um, again I don't know if uh, a lot of these problems are because it is a snapshot um, and we're in 18 not uh, we're in week 18 not week 20 even though week 20 came out just before we did this um, we, we've stayed in 18 uh, we might change I don't know I need to, to talk with the other guys about that but anyway uh, so we, we were working on that uh, I've been working on the nether project and uh, getting those heads let me tell you um, I, I have a looting three sword, and, uh, even with that, <laughs> the skeletons were dro uh, were spawning, but they just weren't dropping anything. 
Um, I mean, well, okay, they dropped lots of swords. Um, so did the pigmen, um, but uh, you know, I just pitched those. But uh, other than that, uh, what else have I been doing? Oh, uh, I'm working on my captive Minecraft series. Had a major setback with that, um, which uh, if you guys watch the next episode, which is coming out, uh, this is being recorded Monday night. Uh, this should be out Tuesday, and uh, the ca my next captive should be out with it. Uh, so Tuesday, the 20th, uh, you guys should see two videos. Um, had a major setback with that. Think I'm I'm back on track with it. I'm really enjoying the series, um, even though I've only put out one video. Uh, I am having fun with it. Uh, and then Griff Lady and I have been uh, been busy in 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 Windcraft. Um, if any of you have been watching those, you'll you'll know we're having a blast. So that's pretty much what's been going on. Um, I have not really had a lot of time for uh, uh, Feed the Beast. Uh, uh, the last bits of time that I've actually had to play, or gotten a chance to play, not had to play, but gotten a chance to play, um, I've been working on my Thumbcraft stuff, and there's not a whole lot to record when I'm uh, doing the research in, in Thomcraft, it's uh, hunting down nodes, getting uh, getting the essence essences, so that I can uh, do the research stuff, and uh, that's not very video worthy. Uh, a lot of grunt work, um, but uh, definitely uh, I haven't lost interest in it. It's just. Uh, Right now, that aspect of it is very time-consuming, and uh, being that I've got all these other things going on, I don't really have the time for it. But I will be getting back into that here very soon, because um, I, uh, I, I I love my Feed the Beast. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to end this episode here. Uh, I showed you guys what I wanted to show you. Had I had the recording software up and running when uh, I ran across those uh, little guys, I would have recorded it. I was hoping to trap them and uh, leave them for, for Griff as a surprise. Yeah, we might just be up and dating real soon because this is getting annoying. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, I will see you next time.